Hi, friends. How are you? Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is doing great. I just wanted to get on here and share this really um, powerful but short dream uh, that I had in the wee hours of this morning. And I believe I had it a little bit after 5 a.m. Um, when I had this dream. And I dreamed that I was hugging a little girl. And I said, as I'm hugging her, this is my Ephesians 3.20 moment, right? And that was the end of the dream. I just remember hugging this little girl. And I said, this is my Ephesians 3.20 moment. And that was the end of the dream, okay? This word, of course, is not for everybody because we're all in different seasons. Like I always tell you guys in almost every word, take me to God, take the word to God. Let him give you further revelation on what this means uh, for you and your specific situation. But the Lord is saying, embrace this moment with childlike faith. Embrace this moment with childlike faith. Uh, Ephesians 3.20 says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us, right? Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is within us, okay? Um, the message version Bible says, God can do anything, you know, far more than you could imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. Okay. Many of us are very familiar with Ephesians 3.20, regardless of what version it's written in. Most of us can recite it, right? God who is able to do exceedingly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine is normally how I would give Ephesians 3.20 um, from the virgin, the virgin, the version that I'm used to, right? God who is able to do exceedingly above all that we can think, ask, or imagine. Okay. Although this dream was so short, it was so powerful. Okay. And this goes quite a few different ways. Okay. The little girl could represent something precious that you've been waiting for or praying about, um, perhaps a dream goal or promise that God is finally bringing to fruition, right? My declaration by me declaring, uh, this being my Ephesians 3:20 moment suggests that this fulfillment is not just meeting my expectations, but it's surpassing them in ways that only God could orchestrate. So see this as yourself, okay? The This fulfillment, whatever it is for you, okay? Again, the little girl could represent something precious that you've been waiting or praying about, okay? A dream, a goal, a promise. God is finally bringing that thing to pass and it's going to not just meet your expectations, but exceed and surpass your expectations in something like that could only be orchestrated by the hand of God, okay? The little girl, uh, for some of you, also represents um, a return to childlike faith or a return to a new beginning in, in your spiritual journey, in this walk, right? Something new, okay? But it's also, again, a return to childlike faith, right? Hugging this little girl could also indicate embracing this aspect of your faith and acknowledging that God is doing something good, new, and powerful in your life far beyond what you could ever imagine, okay? When we're little girls, there's so many things that we have yet to experience. So every journey ahead as a little girl is something that we're walking into that's new for us, right? And with every year, with every month, with every uh, few years, it's always something different. As a little girl, you're learning as you go. And for many of you guys, that's what this experience is gonna be. God is doing something exceedingly above all that you can ask, think, or imagine. Okay, this is orchestrated by him. But for many of you, you're going to have to embrace this and have childlike faith as he's opening these doors. 
right? You're going to have to have a child just believes everything and anything is possible. Like whatever they could possibly think of can come to pass, right? A child has no limitations when it comes to their imagination, right? And God is going to need you to use that same childlike faith as he opens these doors for you, right? Sometimes when God blesses us and it's something that's beyond our, our wildest dreams, something that we can't even fathom. If you're like me at times, as God is blessing me, I'm waiting for something bad to happen because I'm so used to uh, being blessed with something and it's good for a little while, but then something happens, right? And we're gonna have to shake that mindset as we're walking into this, um, this, this moment of fulfillment, of a, a fulfillment that's long awaited, right? A fulfillment that you waited for for a long time, whether your long time is nine months or nine years or one year, nobody can tell you what's a long time or a short time in your book, right? Waiting is waiting, right? Some of you may have waited years, some have waited months, but it's felt like forever. And sometimes when you're experiencing things and it's like, man, this is crazy. Like, I know that this could only have happened by the hand of God. We start to panic and think about all the things that could possibly go wrong. In this moment, you're going to have to embrace this childlike faith and just think of all the possibilities and all the doors and all the goodness that comes along with this without the panic. Kids, as a kid, they don't, as a child, you're not thinking about what could go wrong. You just think about all the amazing things that could happen. Like your imagination, again, has no limits. If you could think it, you can see it. And God is going to need you to use this as you're walking into this um, promise being fulfilled, this long awaited promise, this thing that you've been praying about, this, this dream, this goal that's finally coming to fruition. You're going to have to have childlike faith and embrace that childlike faith and embrace this new beginning and embrace this, this spiritual journey. Okay. Uh, the little girl also represents a younger version of yourself, right? Pointing to a moment of healing or restoration. Okay, this might be an emotional or spiritual healing where you see God's abundant grace and power at work in your life, healing past wounds and bringing restoration to an area or several areas that's much needed. Okay, that's much needed, almost like you're hugging your younger self and just loving on your younger self and there's healing and restoration being brought to those areas uh, that haven't been healed for quite some time, but God is bringing healing and restoration to those things that happened long ago, right? Um, the dream also indicates generational blessings for some, okay, where the little girl represents a future generation or someone you are nurturing or mentoring, right? So your Ephesians 3.20 moment could signify that God is doing something extraordinary, not just for you, but also for those that come after you, those who will follow you, right? There's generational blessings that are gonna come from what God is doing through you, okay? So overall, this is a moment of divine fulfillment and blessing that goes beyond what you expected or imagined. It's rooted in the power of God working in your life, okay? So this Ephesians 3.20 moment, again, it, this is a time of divine fulfillment and blessing, okay? So embrace this thing with childlike faith, whatever it is for you, Um Embrace this, embrace this healing, embrace this restoration, embrace this journey and be like a child where sky is not the limit. Like it, you have no limit on the things that God can do in your life because he's a big God, right? And when we've waited for something for so long, it's hope deferred makes the heart weak. Okay, hope deferred makes the heart weak. And let's read, hold on. Let's read it together. I'm going to read from um, Proverbs. Which version do I want to read from? I'm going to read from Proverbs 13, uh, 
verse 12, the NIV version. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Just like for many, this is your Ephesians 3.20 moment. It's your tree of life moment, right? You've been waiting so long. Your heart has felt sick. You felt over it. You felt tired. But this is a moment of embracing, just like I embrace this little girl, right? And I gave you guys all the different meanings that this little girl could represent for you specifically. So take this dream to God, take me to God. But this is a moment of divine fulfillment of promises, of goals, of the things that God has um, spoken to you about that he said he would do. But again, when he says he's going to do something, it's always at his divine time. It's not when we think it's going to be or when we hope it's going to be. It's always at his divine time. So embrace this thing with childlike faith as you walk through these these doors as you take this journey into this new, just like a child, as a child, I don't know the things that I'm going to face, right? If I go back to my childhood days and uh, let's just say kindergarten, right? The little girl I was hugging in his dream looked like she was about seven or eight years old, probably younger, right? At that age, you, you're not, nothing's really known to you. <laughs> You're walking through different phases of life and you're learning as you go. You're embracing these moments as you go. If somebody would have told me when I was five that I was going to have gone through the things that I went through, a marriage, a divorce, uh, starting a ministry, writing a book, doing all the things, the highs, the lows, I wouldn't have known what they were talking about, right? As a child, you don't have an understanding of what's to come. You don't know the journey ahead of you. You're literally learning. And as you get older, you're able to retain that information, whether good or bad, and you learn from it. But at a child, as a little child, you're not able to retain that information. You're just walking and going and learning and everything's new for you. So as God, and I, I pray that this is like making sense, but as God is opening these doors of this divine fulfillment, embrace it as if you were a child, because if God is doing exceedingly above more than you can think, ask for, or imagine, you've never had any of this before. This is way above the things that you prayed for. You've never experienced these things before. So it's going to be a learning process. It's going to be something that you have to be comfortable, you know, get comfortable in, right? Just like someone, if they were, if I was to win the, uh, the lottery and I became a billionaire overnight, I would have to learn how to embrace this newness, learn how to embrace this new life. I would have to manage my money differently. I would have to manage my mindset differently, like things would have to change, right? It's like celebrities. So a celebrity that's a millionaire or a billionaire, they can't put themselves in the same, um, what am I trying to say? What's the word? They can't put themselves in the same atmospheres that they're used to being in, the same environment, right? As they keep elevating, these uh, celebrities, uh, have bodyguards. They have to watch their surroundings. Even though they're comfortable in certain environments with their level change comes with an extra level of security that's needed because they're not in that same bracket anymore, right? Even though many of them, a lot of them may change with money, but the people that actually embrace, you know, the doors that God is opening for them and there's an elevation that comes with it. Their heart stays the same. So a lot of the times they want to embrace or hang in the same hoods that they used to hang in before they became celebrities, but you have to use wisdom. You can no longer hang in those same environments. Now you need security to hang in those environments. Things can become dangerous. You have to use wisdom. And I pray that this is making sense. So as God opens these doors for you, make sure that you're, seeking God for wisdom and knowledge on how to handle what he's giving you, okay? Because if he's doing exceedingly above all that you can ask, think, or imagine, this is something you've never had before. And it's gonna take a certain level of wisdom and knowledge to, to understand what's being given to you and to handle it well, to carry it well, okay? So that is the word, y'all. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.